This is fine. Hey everyone, this is Big Deal Gaming and welcome to another Gunfire Reborn Guide. Did you want to roleplay as Goku? Did you want to be the new cause of global warming? Well, this guide will make your enemies stay crispy and your friends stay toasty this winter. In this video, we'll be showing you how to get a strong spiritual flame build with Fox so you can burn your way to the top and light up the damage charts. Style? Check. One shot mobs? Check. Easy to play? Check. Fox is definitely the most fun I've had with a character to date, and she employs a glass cannon play style which is fun to play and easy to master. Her ability to mow down hordes of enemies in a single button is just mwah, chef's kiss. She definitely leans more towards a spiritual flame build at the moment as it is simple yet strong. In comparison, her blazing meteor and gun builds feel a bit lacking at the moment, but can still do well. I would not be surprised if in the near future she receives a nerf. Usually with this build, I'm looking for choices that increase my spiritual flame damage, options that help my energy to restore faster, and one or two options to increase my survivability. While playing this build, you will be focusing on spamming spiritual flame and always spending as much energy as possible. Because of this, as far as weapons go, we want to be using a cloud weaver, and usually a fire cloud weaver. It allows Fox to spam her spiritual flame as much as possible while still using a gun. The first spiritual blessing I'm going to talk about is Raging Inferno. It is the absolute best spiritual blessing for this build and the one we will be hunting for at the start of the game. It gives your spiritual flame a damage boost up to 450% and helps with energy recovery, which will help you through the early game as well as allow you to delete ads in the late game. Ultimate Gambler is what you are hoping to get as your second spiritual blessing. The earlier you get this, the more useful it is. The reason it is so highly rated for this build is that we are hunting for the Ascension's Firefox Blessing and Energetic Spirit. This build is picky with Ascensions, due to this, Ultimate Gambler is considered S tier. It is an amazing choice for this build if you want a smoother run in terms of Ascensions, however, keep in mind that it is still RNG based. The only spiritual blessing in the A tier is Overconsumption. This spiritual blessing recently received a buff making it give us 300% damage and 50% move speed boost. The movement speed boost is useful as it will translate to more energy recovery. It does have a drawback of having to be picky with your scrolls to keep the most of your damage. However, since all the other spiritual blessings are situational or not great, overconsumption takes the sole A spot. The only spiritual blessing in the B tier is Jackpot. It is always a decent pick on any character as it allows you to have more gold to help yourself and other teammates. It also becomes a decent damage boost if you manage to get the Extravagant Consumption Scroll, which will increase your damage based on gold spent. The Rich Privilege Scroll also turns Jackpot into a damage boost, but is a bit worse than Extravagant Consumption. The first spiritual blessing in C tier is Flame Dance. Despite it sounding good on paper and giving a debuff on enemies making them take up to 50% more damage, Fox is designed to one-shot a chunk of enemies, thus making the debuff redundant. For this reason, it belongs in C tier. However, if you manage to get a Fire Cloud Weaver with a decent burn chance or the Fiery Heart Ascension, then this Ascension would be a better choice than Jackpot as it will help you and your allies kill bosses faster. You most likely want to avoid these upcoming blessings, but they can offer some utility. The next two in C tier are Steady Profit and Occult Booster. They will give you more chances at obtaining enhanced scrolls. This makes them both an okay choice, but nothing that special. The final two in C tier are Painkiller and Copycat. They will offer you a slight boost to survivability, but overall are not worth taking. All the remaining options are in the D tier, and they are spiritual blessings you want to try to avoid picking up as much as possible. Now, let's move on to the Golden Goblets also known as Ascensions you should be choosing. First and foremost with this character, you can never go wrong with any of the red choices. They all help your spiritual flame out in a different way, and they are all worth taking. The first ascension you want to look out for is Firefox Blessing. This ascension starts out great at level 1 and gets crazy at level 2. It is an amazing ascension because it allows your spiritual flame to get a second hit at reduced damage while also giving it a larger AoE. Getting this to tier 2 will almost guarantee your build to annihilate large waves of mobs of any difficulty. Tier 3 however should not be prioritized over Energetic Spirit, Endless Wildfire, or Conflagration. The second ascension in S tier is Energetic Spirit. 
This ascension enables your spiritual flame to scale further off total energy consumed, as well as gives a nice boost to your energy recovery, allowing you to use spiritual flame more often. At tier 3, this ascension becomes one of the biggest damage boosts available, as it allows you to spend more than 60 energy for spiritual flame. If you consume all 180 energy you have, your spiritual flame will get a 600% damage increase because of this ascension. If you also happen to have Conflagration Tier 3, this ascension instead gives you an additional 360% damage increase, bringing it to 960% damage boost. The last ascension in the S tier is Endless Wildfire. Do note that even though it is lower on the priority list, it is an absolute game changer and a huge quality of life improvement on the build. It is so amazing because it gives you a chance to regain all the energy that was consumed, and on top of that, you will regain more energy the more enemies you kill with Spiritual Flame. As the first ascension in the A tier, we have Conflagration. It is a straightforward ascension as it boosts the base damage of Spiritual Flame, and it makes the Spiritual Flame scale further off max energy consumed. The only reason this does not belong in S tier is that the damage Energetic Spirit offers and the reset potential Endless Wildfire offers are slightly better. The second ascension in A tier is Furious Flame. This ascension gives a damage boost to all your fire damage. It is very straightforward, but strong nonetheless. At tier 3, it will make your fire damage hit shields and armor 33% harder, which is very useful for taking down elites, bosses, and a lot of special adds, making this scale well into the late game. The last ascension in the A tier is Flameforged. It gives you a nice boost to damage that scales off your max energy. The damage buff will only last 6 seconds. However, you will be keeping this buff up full time as long as you keep using your spiritual flame. The only ascension in the B tier is Heat Recovery. The fox is a glass cannon character. If she doesn't get any defensive scrolls or ascensions, she will most likely get one shot by the more annoying enemies like snipers, charging enemies, and bosses. Heat Recovery will help you survive by just using your main damage ability, Spiritual Flame. The more energy you consume or regain with Spiritual Flame, the more bonus shields you get for 6 to 8 seconds. With this ascension and endless wildfire, you can amass a large amount of shield very quickly, allowing you to survive some hits that would normally one-shot most characters. As the first ascension in the C tier, we have Flame Resonance. This is Fox's only ascension debuff she brings to the table. While it does sound good on paper, you're aiming to one-shot most enemies, making this only useful on bosses. On top of that, it only increases fire damage taken, making it only useful for your allies if they focus on fire damage as well. For that reason, this ascension belongs in the C tier. The next ascension in the C tier is Fiery Heart, as it is another underwhelming choice of ascension. Burning effects are good and could synergize well with certain scrolls, the Flame Dance Spiritual Blessing, and allies using other elements, but again, we are aiming to one-shot enemies, making this an unnecessary choice. The last ascension in the C tier is Flame Talisman. It was designed to synergize with Fiery Heart, and it does offer a decent damage reduction up to 90% at tier 3 with 5 stacks. However, if you have a decent defensive scroll already, or heat recovery, this ascension becomes even less of a priority. It does offer a small damage boost as well, but getting hit will remove stacks, making you lose the damage buff. That is why other straightforward damage boosts are more preferable. All the remaining options are in the D tier, and they are the ascensions you want to try to avoid picking up as much as possible. Here is an example of an ideal full build, with a few scrolls to keep an eye out for while doing the run. You will want to use a Cloud Weaver for a weapon, as it is the ultimate solution to a skill spamming playstyle. The only side note to mention is that you will ideally want the ultimate gambler blessing until the final area, where you would swap it out for overconsumption. And with that, you are now equipped with the strategy to build a spiritual flame focused fox and dominate the damage charts while showing off your amazing ability to press one button. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you think we're making any mistakes in the build, if you had a successful run with our build, or if you have a guide request, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing as we will be releasing more guides in the future. 
We also have a Twitch channel, so feel free to stop by and check out the stream. Till next time, this has been a big deal guide. Good luck and take care.